Okay, here we go. Another making of. I was out though. I mean, I did my walk and I came back, but then I realized that I was missing something. So I had to go to this Harry Teeter's supermarket. Uh, uh, but that didn't turn out well because I missed the exit and I had to go. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I had to go to the, to the, to the bridge and the tunnel almost to, uh, I guess I was in uh, Newport News and come on back to, uh, well, Terry Titus is unfortunate. Um, like yeah. that. But before we get it, whoa, 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 we got to do our thing. Eh? Wait a second, do we have it? I don't know how much this is left. Let's try this one. This might be a little longer than we realize if it runs out I don't think about that long this is a Sunday easy easy peasy Sunday so put the incense there clear the air as they say oh clear the air okay ah First things first, before we do anything, let's see how much I walked this morning, even though I guess the, the thing was riding with me. Does it count the rise? No, I think I don't think it does. Here's what I did. I did uh, 23,719 steps, because this is the long one where I go all the way to being the team one, because this is Sunday, I take a long day. Then I, I increased it too. In the, in the cemetery, there's this other two, like, I don't call them mausoleums, whatever it is, but they have where you could put the, I get ashes and whatever stacked up. And I never really go that path to go around them, but there's like one, two, three, four of them. And so I, this this morning I went and did that, that thing. So I think it was a little longer. Hey, wait, wait a second, what's going on here? So wait, hold on a second, let me. This thing always, you know, my other thing I set display. This thing every time it keeps on going back to thirty cents, thirty after thirty seconds inactivity, then it will go, you know. And then you got to go in each time and do it. I know I should figure out why. Not, why can't I get my whatever? But I just don't do it. I don't know because I like to mess around. Oh, now I don't forget how much. Oh, twenty-three. Oh, fifteen point eight nine kilometers. Okay, so now I got to put. <sighs> Of course, I still have it on airplane mode. Gosh, you'd think I'd learn sooner or later, but I don't. Okay, airplane, take it off Bluetooth, like that. Oh, you, little, sorry, buggy. I know some people don't harm other, other of God's creatures on a Sunday too. Amen, oh, like that. Okay. Power rankings, battery saver, Jimmy Dore. Oh, there's a bomber spreading Putin. <laughs> what's, Jimmy, what's Jimmy Dore saying? Is, is, you're not Davy Crockett. Yeah, in a crisis, you're not going to be roving the... Uh, is Obama spreading Putin talking points? Uh, I, I don't know, Jimmy Dore. You, you, you'll, you'll figure that out. Uh, Red Spirit. The African architecture. Oh, Red Spirit Mass. I got to check this out. On Wakanda. So that's right. The film is coming out. I haven't been paying any attention to it, you know, so I will not be spoiled whenever I get to, whenever I see it. Uh, I just, you know, I might even wait till I get down this up. No, I don't think so. I think it can't be for that. Maybe I'll see it up in Canada. I'll see it someplace else. To make the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Okay. Oh, yeah. What I played this morning, there's this Nina Simone. New book coming. It's called The Dark. What is this thing? It's called. It's called The Dark. The small D A R K small letters. Then capital D A R K. Lots of remix audio. New New World coming. Nina Simone. And it's like, whoa! It's I love it. It's magnificent. You know. So I heard that this morning. Let me get nine. Don't forget. Oh, 15.89 kilometers. Why don't we just quote now? 15.89 kilometers equals, and then we go here, 15, 15.89 kilometers. K K I kilometers. K 
kilometers to miles. Okay, so 15.89 uh, kilometer is uh, 9.8735882 miles. That's how much I walked this morning. Well, it's just a regular Sunday, I guess, you know. Uh, so what does that add up to? Uh, eight, nine is, uh, what's that? Uh, 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 10, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 23 is a good number, kilometers. Miles is, I'll leave you alone. Let's write that. Okay, so that's ready to go. I'll keep Red Spirit Master up there because I got to check out Red Spirit. I read, met Red Spirit, I said, met him. But, you know, when, when the whole thing with uh, Black uh, Panther was going, I, I hooked up, not hooked up, but I, I started paying attention to a lot of other people, you know, like the uh, like the black nerd guy and and uh, and uh, Keith Avery guy and uh, and uh, the guy that started, uh, you know, uh, uh, don't cancel Chichala. All the people are I've found through through dealing with with you know with Black Panther, uh, but I don't follow. I mean, not I don't follow. Okay, glasses are there. That's done. That's gonna. Oh, here. Oh, today is football Sunday. Oh, like I said, I went to this place at the supermarket. I came back. I had to take a wash first, and then came back. And then uh, I figured I'd do the Instagram now. Later, I'll do the. Um, I'll do my um, uh, Sunday sermon, Mister Daily Fuller. I use Mister Daily Fuller Jr.'s book because it, it, when I did my walk this morning, I listened to the Daily Fuller. Uh, transmission that happens on Tuesdays. I downloaded that. I usually listen to it on a Saturday or Sunday during the walk because it's two hours, you know. And uh, it was interesting as usual because, you know, hey, we're fortunate. We got his book. But more importantly, he's, he's like my preacher. Every week I get to hear this Tuesday, I get to hear him talk. Then then uh, Sundays I look through his book and pick something out and then we talk about it. You know, it'll be posted up as soon as I, well, probably when this is being done. I don't know, something like that. But I went to I went to a place called Harris Harris Teeters. It's, it's a supermarket. It's like one of those exclusive. I don't say exclusive, but you know, upper brow, whatever. They have a lot of stuff. But I went there. I was looking for because um, I wanted to find some red wine for some reason. For some reason, okay, I'm doing a Sunday thing, right? But here's what I'm doing on Sundays also. I'm drinking. I haven't had it actually. I'm drinking red wine. So I figured, because, you know, Sundays, you know, it's like it's ecumenical service. Well, it's my personal ecumenical service, but the point is, you know, you know, wine, you know, I grew up in a Catholic church, they do the wine thing. Anyway, so I wanted to find a wine. And of course, I was going to look for a Shiraz, but I couldn't find it. But then they, they had these sales, right? I messed up, I don't want to tell you about it, I messed up. But 19 Crimes, this is uh, uh, Australian, I think, nickname from Australia. Southeastern Australia, origin or Southeastern Australia. But when they first came out, they were really good. They they have one that has it's a red and it has a Snoop Dogg on it. Right? But I, I originally got for this Shiraz. You know, Australian wines are good. It's like I think South Africa, Australia, eh, same whatever. It's, it's, really good. it's like it's like it's like French French and Spanish wines. They like, hey man, you know I won't get into it. Um, uh, no, I should say French. No, Spanish. Right, but nineteen five. This is called the Warden. And this was uh, the most expensive one they had. They, it was a sale because they had it for, it's cost, normally cost $35, and they had it for, say, $20. Oh, let me do that. Let's, let's see what that's about. Oh, let me do that one. Hey, right. we got time. You, you, you go do something else and come back. I got I to gotta do something here. Uh, uh, I'm going to do uh, conversions. C O N V E R. Well, to uh, dollar D O dollar A R conversion. We okay. So. I'll just go to the euro here, whatever they say. Okay, so I'll go like this. I'll say, no, no, let's keep the dollar. One nine states dollar equals how much rands? South African rand, which is South 
African Rand. Oh, we're at 18.14. Oh, 18.14. So, 18. So, what did I do? Uh, uh, it would be 30, 30. Well, normally it's 35. But say, say 35 times 18.14. Is that how I would do it? Yeah. So, I go to the thing. 30, 35 times. No, no, the other way around. Uh, 18.14 times 35. Whoa, that would be 634 rands. Let me go back here, and I got it for 20. Say so I got it for 20. 362 rand. Wow. Expensive wine. Usually I go like, the, my top end well it's all right so this is like it better be good <laughs> I'll, I'll, well it's going to last a long time because i don't really do a lot with my wine but maybe i should taste it don't i got something in here oh here's what i got a harry t this that's why i go there sometimes because i get stuck i can't get any place a real fig a real live fig i love figs When I was in Limbete, in Alice, there's a fig tree there. Wow. I think I rated all the time. Hey, we were on Tombazo. We're going to have a fig tree. Oh, yeah. We're going to grow figs. Mmm. 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 I love figs. Okay, so let's open this bottle of wine. Now, there's many ways to open wine. I do it the difficult way. I shouldn't say it, baby. Well, I take off the whole thing like this first. Take the whole thing off. Now, usually you can just stick the plunger the thing through there, get the cork, put the top and just come out that way. Sometimes I do that way. But usually, I'm pretty, I'm a, like a neat nick. So... Do it the semi-professional way. Do this corkscrew instead of some other niftier corkscrew. Notice how I turned the bottle. Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm just a contrarian by nature. So whatever is, whatever people usually do, I try to find an alternative way. In other words, people usually do the easy thing. This is the problem that we have today. Everybody does the easy thing. That's this whole thing happened with when, when when something happens on the internet, everybody piles on because it's easy. And then you get your little bit of information, you pile on. Nobody really does the hard research. This is why people are weird. This is why we have this drug problem, you know? Because right now they have this fentanyl problem with this with these with these pills and stuff like that. Nice. Uh, that's because remember in in, 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 the, in the 50s in the 60s I guess it's the 60s really you know the housewives started taking them pills you know and then people started taking pills and then it was always advertised to have the um, come on get off here my cork out um, they would always advertise you know, to take a pill, a magic pill, you know, that's the pharmacy. Hey, don't don't take that bark off the tree and boil it down and that's that's too much trouble. You know, we can make a pill for you. So now, with the advent of everybody trying to get money, it's easy to make pills. People got pill machines or whatever have you. Well, I don't want to say the drug cartels, but anybody can make fake pills. Now I would let it breathe and all that, but let me read finish reading this thing. What it says. Let's see what it says. From the late 1700s to the late 1800s, approximately some whatever, men and uh, something were transport or were transported to the oh that's the Australia the 19 crimes thing. I can't read this now. I have to read this some other time because I don't have my glasses. This way, even though it says a good light here. Separate those cleverly ruled. Okay. Nineteen crimes has to do with the uh, with 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 with. 
criminality in Australia, I guess, right? Okay, this is my official red wine glass. It's also my official a lot, a lot of other glasses. Right? So, I'm going to taste this for you. Not the, I'm the only one who drinks this wine. I can lick it. I'm going to taste this for you. Should I do the other? Whoa, rich bouquet. I don't know what I'm talking about. Strong. This is why we like red wine, cold. Strong. Yeah. Show my muscles. Okay, no. I ain't got no muscles. Man, I gotta go weak. I can't throw no basketball up at the thing that put you foot to that. I gotta do my boot and do it. Maybe Drew at at the end of November, if I'm diligent enough, get my upper strength back. You know? Okay. Hey, I did it pretty good. There's no not a lot of cork in there. Here we go. I'm a it's a taste test for 19 Cribes, the warden. I don't think you can get this a lot of places anyway, so I'm not really advertising it. But. Whoa. I like it. Whoa, that's good. Anyway, oh, you might hear some football in the background because my brother's watching the football game. Think, uh, hey, the Steelers are playing Philadelphia. The Eagles. I have nothing to say. <laughs> but here's what I do these days. You know, I'm not missing a game. Here's what I do. Some games I sit and watch, like, okay, now that the Giants are doing what the Giants are doing, I sort of got I'm obligated to watch Giants game because, you know, when I first started, well, my first official job in New York City, well, in the, in the Bronx, because Yankee I live in Paddock, probably the Yankee Stadium was right there. Yankee Stadium was right, I used to go, or oh, PS31, it's up there on the concourse, Yankee Stadium is down, down Walton Avenue, you know, anyway. So my first official job, you know, because you're a kid, you know, you do your shoe shine and you do your, you know, you sell shopping bags and all that stuff. But my first official job when I was 16, that's when you get your working papers, was to be, um, was to sell hot chocolate for the Giant games at Yankee Stadium, because when the Giants were, were at Yankee Stadium, I guess they were kicked out of polo, and polo grounds was gone by then. Maybe it was, yeah, I guess whatever it was. But um, so my first official job was was selling hot chocolate for Giant games. You know, it's Yankee Stadium, but it wasn't baseball season. It was, it was it was in the season were a little bit more delineated, delineated. Oh, the brother used a big word. Ooh, I wonder if he knows what it means. Anyway, the point is. So, that's, so I'm sort of obligated. Well, it's not a bad obligation. So I'm sort of a Giants uh, observer now. Before I used to be a Giants fan, well, a fan, whatever. Yeah, you know, because I'm, I'm back in the day with the real Giant, the Giant, the Giants. Before they went to, to, to New Jersey, it was the New York Giants. Before they went to New Jersey, whatever. And uh, so, so, so Giants are doing well. I feel good. I caught that game when I was in South Africa where they get the, 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 the helmet catch and all the rest of that stuff. Whoa, that was amazing. Oh, the poor, <laughs> poor New England. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, okay, so we got to do this. Oof. We got to do this. Uh-oh, now, again, once again, I don't forget what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about something I forgot. Um, maybe I should talk about football. Yeah, that's what I do. I talk about the football thing. Why not? Okay, not to no well. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Not that I, not that I really use them, but my glasses are sort of like a. This right. Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh man, I gotta get these glasses right, man. If I can't see, what am I talking about? I'm talking, not seeing. Oh, hey, hey, Instagram, it's me, T from the Pattersons, taking the train to bed. Well, it's a Sunday, and uh, a little bit later from now, I'm going to be uh, doing my uh, Sunday uh, Sunday sermon. You know, out of out of my my scripture book, which is Mr. Neely Fuller Jr.'s book. Uh, you know, compensatory concept, the code book. Yeah. Hey, shout out to to, to Mo's Facts because he he cited Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. The last thing. Go go to Mo's Mo's Facts, man. He was in there with the, with the Curry guy, you know. Good good uh, dissecting talking about the Kanye thing. 
really good, you know. But I like most facts because he he be digging deep, do, 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 do. and he attributes people to where they supposed to be attributed. Mister Neely Fuller Jr. is a force that no, not under the radar. That's why, I like under the radar, only a few of us really know, you know. And but everybody can deal with his codes. But that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about codes. But you might hear some football in the back. The uh, Philadelphia Eagles are probably beating up on the on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Should I check for you? Hold on, don't go no place. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check. Hold up, just, just wait. Hurry up, don't go, but just not go. Just real quick. Right. Right. Oh, what's the score? Maybe that's okay. Okay. Twenty-one. Towering above. Is exactly what the first ever Fourteen. Okay. Woo. Dallas playing playing somebody beat them twenty-one something, and then the, the Pittsburgh is is is, is losing to uh, what's name uh, fourteen to seven, which is not a big thing. Hey, if maybe they might. Pull it out. We'll see what happens. I know it's Instagram. I'm sorry. I've, I'm I, I'm confused because I do this behind the scene, and I have more time with behind the scenes than I would do. But here, let me tell you what I do in football now. To, this with the season thing, right? The NFL started to do these things where they have like about 15 minutes of highlights of the different games, right? So I check them out, right? I just check that out, right? Now when it comes to the playoffs, which I probably be. It's South Africa where the playoffs starts, so I won't be watching it anyway. Right? Then I'll watch the thing. I get more, you know, I watch the playoffs and Super Bowl. Maybe. This year I probably won't do it because I'll be, I don't know where I'll be. I don't know what's going to happen. Okay? Uh, but that's what I do. I watch the, all the highlights, and that's how I watch it, right? Sometimes, I, uh, Tom, this guy, Tom Grassy, I like to listen to him do the, his commentary like that. He's not like the professional people that can get the numbers and all that stuff, but he's hilarious, right? And then also um, uh, check out Pat McAfee, um, the, the boys. I, li I, I like that, the boys, man. This whole thing, hey, I'm going to tell you right now, this whole thing where they had this affirmative action, where they have to have, to have women, you know, doing whatever they're doing, they just, they just uh, appendages to the to the big boys. The big boys are there, the women are on the sidelines, or the women are, or, or, or they're, I don't know, being the host of some, some argument between, uh, you know, Skip and Shannon or whatever they're, or whatever they whatever they're doing right, that's well and good. But you know what? It sounds stupid, right? But Pat McAfee, I like it because it's like being in the locker room with the boys. The toxic tables there. The other guy that likes to whatever he likes, right? Then you got uh, uh, Darius Butler, which, which I, I love when they I saw when he first started coming in, and then they say, hey, we got to make this a regular thing. They did the right thing. Darius is really good. Then they have these two other coaches coming. Uh, join the week. So you feel like you're in a locker room. It's a locker room at atmosphere. And that's what we want out of football. You know, women in the locker room, fine. But hey, you got to. If you, okay, let me leave that alone because then people, will, I'll be in trouble, I suppose. I'll be in trouble being a dude, right? Oh, I'm drinking wine. It's a Sunday. I'm about to do Sunday sermon. Wine, the D, the D, the truth, that, that, the D, right? Okay, that's it. Look, that, that, that's it. I just wanted to tell you. I don't know what I wanted to tell you, but I just told you what I wanted to tell you, so I'm gone, right? I'll talk to you all later. Tomorrow, manana, you know, uh, or even the next day. We'll see what happens, all right? Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Okay, what should I call this? The brother gives <laughs> the brother gives uh gives 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 an American A M A R football. Uh -oh. Football update. Uh, Capital update. Update. Gives a gives a live American football. No, it gives a, a live. Should I say a live update? Because it was live. I'm doing. It. Uh, I'll leave it alone. Western branch. So I said, gives an American football update. Yeah, just leave it like that. Okay, series. This is like a random, random thing. Eastern Cape. 
I don't know, it's Eastern Cape, I'm going to talk about Eastern Cape. This is uh, Random Randoms. Man, this wine is, whoa, this wine is good. Hmm. I'm actually cooking. I got I got this really slow cooking. I'm doing some uh, ribs. They put the ribs in the package. I think I'm, I'm doing the whole package. This is stupid. You know what I mean? I should, I guess I, people better eat it. I don't know. You know, what can I say? Done. Share. So I, what I do with the ribs, like with everything, now, with salmon, anything like that, I cut an apple, put it in the bottom of the pan, right? Then I, I, I season the, the meat and put there. And then I, I'm putting like red onion all over it and cover it and let that simmer for a long time. I let that simmer. I mean, it'll be going for like maybe half hour before I turn the light up and turn, start turning the meat or something like that. But I think I messed up because it was just too much. And, and I didn't want to, I opened the meat, it was out, out of the freezer. Had I known how the big the pack was, I would have just said half of it. But So I hope people don't get mad at me. Wow. People done got mad at me before. So what, what can I say? That's one thing. Mm. Before I go, that's one thing. See, there's certain advantages of being trained as a stage manager. And also actually being BNI, BAI being a, 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 a news engineer because people don't want to take no blame for nothing. So they, everybody just blames the stage manager. Stage manager. So I'm being used to being blamed for stuff, even stuff that I didn't do. I just take it. Fine. I, I'm the culprit. That, that, that. It is great. I just leave it alone. What can I say? Okay. So that's it. Hey, ooh. We got to get on. I'm, I'm cooking, but no, I'm, I'm going to do the, um, man, this wine is strong. Before I get tore up with the wine, I better do the Sunday sermon. I think I'll just do the Sunday sermon real quick. Wow. Oof, man, this is a strong wine. I might not survive. Oof. Talk to you later.